Hello humans, how art thou today? Doing pretty dandy myself. Sorry it has been quite a while since I've made a video. There has been numerous things and distractions, busyness, running a cat cafe, all kinds of things to just slow me down. Random fruit fly flying around that I just not have, have not had time to make videos like I want to. And I say it every time, I'm, like, I'm gonna make a video. I'm like, I'll make one next week. And then a month goes by. Yeah, so I need to get on top of that. I'm definitely sorry. Today is going to be an awesome review video. Our friends over at RW Flames sent us one of their uh, electric fireplace stoves that we're going to check out. That's Shiro over on the side there. Uh, yes, so Shiro is my new cat, uh, Shiro-san. Uh, funnily enough, Shiro means white in Japan. There we go. See if he's going to knock some things over because I don't normally let him over here because he destroys everything. Yes, yes, just, yep, mm -hmm. okay, that's cool, yep, just squeeze, yep, all right, that's great. Yes, so that is Shiro, uh, as you guys know, I had Luna for almost 19 years, and she sadly passed away earlier this year, I wasn't going to get another cat, had no interest in it whatsoever, but I got Shiro after about 69, 70 cats at the cafe, this one finally really, uh, it really put it, you know, laid it into me, basically, fruit fly. And so I really, really dig this cat, and he also kind of reminds me of how Luna used to be, uh, and the colors are similar. He's all white with a little black. She was all black with a little white, so it's kind of cool, actually. And he's just going around the corner. So this video is not about cats. It is about the RW Flame Fireplace, which I will be breaking open and checking out. Um, there is very, very heavy, so I guess I can lift it up and bring it over here, and then we're going to bust it out, so let me, let me do that. It's over here. I hadn't intended on doing so. It comes in a massive box, just like this. And you can see, it takes up my entire frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open her up, and, well, you know, I can do it now, I suppose. The sound might be a little off. I could always be professional with a mic, but who needs that, right? So we're going to slice it open. Unboxing. Alright. That way you guys can get the full gist. Fancy. Oh, I see Shiro back there. If he knocks this over, I'll be butthurt. Pretty fancy. Comes with the remote, which is good for. I can't think of the word. The. How do I edit this? Good for romantic times, you know? Hello, darling. Turn on the fire, please. Maybe I'll show. Show. Hey, stop. No, never. Stop it. I swear to all that's holy. <laughs> what is it? What is it, Shiro? Huh? He's so long. He doesn't care what you do to him, though. Now you're in the way. That's my fault. Okay, alright. Let me break this open now. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright. This is not going to be easy, it appears. I'm going to do one of these. Mm. Okay, so this is really, really snug in here. Oh, wait. Just so you guys know as well, I've partnered up with them a little bit, so in the description, if you end up digging this product and want one of these, which you probably are going to since it's been getting cold right now, um, there's going to be a discount code in the description as well. Oh, that's fancy. Really? Unnecessary, but fancy. Obviously, it's electric, but it has opening. All right, all right. And here we go. Yes. Now maybe there is a little assembly required because I do see a legging, another legging, maybe. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Oh wait, yep. 
Yeah, some assembly required. Spoke too soon. See a little box here. Alright. Gonna open this up, take a look. It's not too bad, it's just no legs. So basically, we got bolts and legs on here, looks like. Alright. So it looks like we got these four here. And some screws. Doesn't seem too crazy. I shouldn't need the instructions. Now you guys know me how I usually say I don't need the instructions, and then I usually do, but. Let's take a look. Mm. Well, while I'm doing this, so what's new with all you guys anyway? Oh, wait, hold on. Which way I'm going here? So what's new with all the humans out there lately, eh? You know, the, oh no, is this gonna be like really complicated? Okay, all right. All right, I'm getting something here. I'm getting something. I'm gonna have to set this down. I was hoping I could be lazy, but it's like we have to do a little bit, so alright. If it tips over, I'll be very sad. So basically you're gonna put your legs in like this. I don't really have a screwdriver in here, so I didn't realize I needed one at the time. I'm not going downstairs. And I am not this is gonna be all one clip because I am not in the mood to be editing clips today. So this is I you don't really need to see with the legs on. I could always put the legs on later, but... Do I have a screwdriver up here? I don't think I do. No, there's one. I mean, it's not too difficult. Alright, well, you know what? I'm not gonna do the legs right now. Because you guys don't need to wait for me. Oh, great. Now I can't get the one off. Basically, what we're going to do then is I'm going to take the legs back off. I'll put them on later. Because obviously, with the review video, putting legs on does not make much of a difference. I think I dropped a screw somewhere, which means it's never going to be found. Alright, so what we're going to do, I'm going to do some makeshift legs. I'm going to take this box, I'm going to flip it upside down, because I can't exactly turn it on where it's at now, because you guys aren't going to be able to see much. But, if I turn the box upside down, put this here, I believe i got a plug back there too, so you guys can take a look. chair out of the way, get a little booty view, alright, so if we do this, like I said, I got a plug somewhere down here, yeah, here we go, okay, there we go, that's got a little, uh, See a little better here. Adjust that down. All right, there we go. Okay, so we got the instructions, which I will not read because you know that's just me. And we're gonna take a look at how this goes. Now, if it doesn't have batteries included, that would really suck. But let's see, power. Where's the power button? Power. No, no. Oh, it's got a little strip. Nothing. Okay. All right. Power. Oh. Oh, that's nice. So I'm going to turn the studio lighting off, which I have attached to a switch over here, just so you guys can get the fire. Okay. All right. Oh, all right. So we got that. And then 
if I want to, you can open it up to add wood. Then, oh, wait, oh, I see why they do that, too. There's little, there's little buttons down here. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Changing it to real fire now. Mm. Oh, we got color. Here's a color button. Okay. Oh, blue flame. Makes it really hot. Red flame. More red flame. Orange flame. So that's like the natural look right there. And it's got speed. Oh, see the speed light. Ooh, wow. Let's do the same color. Now we got the heat. And let's do a different color. Let's go color B. Oh, wait. Oh, I can change the logs. I can change the logs, man. That's cool. Okay. All right. Speed it up a little bit. A little bit more speed. More speed. Oh, I can see the coil in there, too. There's actually a heating coil for it, obviously, it's providing heat. Probably is a security feature. The fan stays on until it um, cools the unit down. All right. Keep that behind me. All right. So yeah, this is really cool. Um, again, always read the instructions, unlike me. But you know, it's what it is. But yeah. So I definitely dig it. This is all angly and funny now. Okay, it turned off, all right. So it was a safety feature. So when you turn it off, it's gonna keep blowing on that coil because that coil's gotta cool off, obviously. It's probably hot to the touch, so do not touch it. But yeah, that's the RW Flame. Um, I highly recommend it. Again, there is a discount uh, that's gonna be placed in my description as well for you to order it. Um, the last time I checked, it was 189 on sale from 229, I believe, off the top of my head. Uh, yes, it's expensive, I know, but most of the heaters are. Any good heater is going to cost you about 100 bucks, anyways. The fake fireplace ones, I got a cheapy one, like 70 bucks on Black Friday ones. And it's just like a box with the most fakest freaking flame you'd see. Um, that actually looks pretty darn good. It has uh, the wood, has the flames, you can change the colors, you can open it up like you would a fireplace. I really like that, so I highly recommend this product. Uh, again, again, I'm going to put uh, in the description all the information you need to order it, as well as getting a discount as well. So, anyways, I will try to be more regular in my videos from here on out. I know I've said that probably 10 times, but you know, it happens. Life, I run a cat cafe. Check it out, Luna Cafe, Luna Cat Cafe on Instagram. Little plug there. But anyways, I will see you all later, and I hope you guys have a great day, meow.